Hey everyone, Afternoon Delights here, no longer 11. I nixed that sucker. I don't know why I had 11 in there, I guess for peace. Um, but anyway, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna talk about WBFF shoes and what type of shoe to wear for stage. Welcome back to your ch to my channel, y'all. Uh, my name's Afton Noon, and I compete WBFF. I'm a two times USA finish champion, WBFF diva. Uh, I won the AC show in 2019 and the Miami show in 2020 when we were going through all that. But I know a lot of you have questions, maybe concerns about shoes and what type of shoe to get for WBFF. So I am here to give you information on that. So definitely stay tuned and watch for the whole video because we talk about all these different sorts of shoes I had throughout prep, but also what is good about each one, where you can purchase your shoe, what type of height you need, what is required and not required for those shoes. So stay with me so you can watch through the whole video and get a better idea of what shoe you need for stage. Okay, let's get right to the nitty gritty of it. So let's talk about my very first shoe I wore for my first amateur show in Dallas. It was just this gold basic shoe, right? Kind of like ignore the fluff for now, but pay attention to the base of the shoe. I got this gold basic shoe from some sort of like cheap knockoff Asian store in the mall. So that's what I got. It is a peep toe. It is a pump, okay? Um, walking on these on stage, I would recommend not getting a pump because of how much it pushes your foot forward and can cram your toes. These are probably one of the least comfortable shoes I had worn. Um, but with your shoes, ladies, let's aim for four inches, okay? A four inch shoe is really gonna elongate your legs, make your glutes look good, make you stand tall. I recommend at least a four inch heel height um, for your heels. If, uh, yeah, four inches, you gotta go that way. So, a basic pump. You can see WBFF is all about glamour. There is a two rounds to the WBFF. The first round is a bikini round where you wear a magical glitzy bikini. I will have a video on that um, later. And then the second round is either an evening gown where you wear a very nice, beautiful, elegant pageant type gown or theme wear where it's very Vegas, showgirl, um, Victoria's Secret meets fitness girls, right? That's exactly what WBF is, world of beauty, fitness and fashion. Um, so this was part of one of my costumes and the things added on. That's one thing is if you're working with a designer, you can always have them send you gems or send you things, or if they're there in person, be able to just make this and create this um, fast as they can. Um, this was uh, Renata's design that she put on with my wings where I won my very first show and got my first crown. Man, I wish I had my crowns with me. <laughs> Another video, right? Um, we'll have to make a lot of videos for you guys, but this is my first shoe. It was a pump. I wouldn't recommend pumps necessarily they aren't the most comfortable for me um, just because when you land your foot like splays out naturally so when your feet are crammed into this they can't splay out as well so that's why it can be a little bit more uncomfortable but that's the first shoe is the pump you can get an option for that so ladies you don't have to have the high strip shoe platform okay you can just do a fashion forward shoe that's the very first shoe i had Let's move on to second show. It was my first pro show, my pro debut. I had a purple and gold bikini, purple to represent Team Dynasty. Ooh, ooh. So it was purple and gold. I had got these shoes, I think from Amazon. You know, we're always doing so much cardio during prep, ladies. Look at everything you wanna buy while you're doing cardio. That's all I do is like, I will scan things I wanna buy for photo shoots or evening gowns or anything like that. But I had gotten, <laughs> The gold on the back because my suit was gold on the back and purple on the front so be mindful of making it all come together oh no <laughs> my light sorry y'all i thought my ring light had broken um thank you to my mentor for getting me this ring light um a few years ago so uh what was i saying about this shoe you can see i have i have very narrow thin feet they like to slide forward so anytime you have that get one of these grips here but um my the back of my bikini was gold the front was purple and I had the designer send me gems, add a little bit more bling. So try to make everything come together and form a statement with your fashion, right? You want your hair to be the same style and realm as your bikini, as your shoes, as your makeup, you know? We don't want to have super, super edgy, dark, gothic hair with like a bright suit or vice versa, like a very fierce, 
um, and then really flowy, curly, big curls, um, just as long as it makes sense. So these again have about an inch platform and then the heel might be five inches or so. So again, it doesn't have to have a huge platform, but you can see I upgraded to a little bit higher platform. I don't know why this, this light isn't working. <laughs> And action, the ring light kept going out on me. I don't know why, I don't use it very often and I had it plugged into the wall so now I have it plugged into my computer. Maybe that will help. But yes, this was when I had gone to my first pro show and got second, I love these babies. Um, this show meant a lot to me because I worked with Magic Bikinis and I actually drew exactly what I wanted on me and she made it come to life 100%. has a special place in my heart um, okay so let's go on to the next show well I don't have my um, world shoes here but they're a basic silver shoe all right they're very similar to this a little bit thicker a little bit more sparkly so something like this you can do and it's perfectly fine as well it's got a nice thin stiletto anytime you do a neutral color that is close to your skin color it is going to elongate your leg because it kind of blends in with your leg and your skin tone and it makes you look tall and that leg look longer. So any sort of nude colored shoe that matches is very perfect for lengthening the leg. If you tend to have a longer torso and shorter legs and you want those legs to appear longer. Again, a very basic shoe, style, fashion forward, all right? So that was my first world. Let's go on to where I won my very first crown, AC 2019, were these hot babies. These. <laughs> these are fun, right? I've got the non-slip slide things. You can tell I did show with these two because uh, there's some tan on it and all that, but this is a zipper back, okay? I want you ladies to be conscious of purchasing a zipper back shoe. These things can cut you sometimes, so if you don't have calluses built up on your Achilles, um, they can cut you, okay? These ones didn't cut me at all. I got these off of Amazon, and actually I had another Team Dynasty girl wonder where I got them, and she got these shoes as well. So they're really, really fun. Again, the platform got a little bit higher. You can tell I'm getting a little bit higher with the platform each year, but it's a very, very fun shoe, a nice pop of color to match your bikini. So you don't always have to have like a sparkly, silver glitzy one. You can match your bikini and color. That's what I tend to like to do. Um, and I really just like the metallic against the matte. It kind of makes for a sheen. Um, so you can always go sparkly that way. <clears throat> All right, let's go to one of my favorite pairs. And I know you pristine posing babes have heard this before. Go to pristineposing.com for more information and for inquiries, pristineposing at gmail.com for a posing coach. But ignore all the tan, right? Ugh. Okay, so these are Pleaser brand shoes. Um, at first, I always thought, you know, they look like stripper shoes and I didn't want them, but I went for it this year and I was happy and excited because it makes me almost taller than my husband. It's crazy. And talk about sitting on the toilet in these ladies, you realize, man, guys really have to squat down low to get on toilets compared to us ladies. Um, and like also leaning over counters and all that stuff, you realize, man, these counters are made for women, I feel like, more than for men. But um, this is a basic shoe. When you are getting a platform like this, ladies, make sure the bottom is not clear, okay? Um, MPC is typically known to have the clear bottoms. As WBFF, World of Beauty, Fitness, and Fashion, we're meant to have a fashion-forward shoe, so make sure this bottom part is not clear at all. Um, these pieces came with it on here like this, and what I had done was I applied my own gems. <laughs> I applied my own gems on here. <clears throat> Some are from Hobby Lobby, some I got the designer to actually send me gems when she sent my bikini so I could glue them on here. And it's a fun little project to kind of get your mind off of prep. You know, if it takes a while to do, you can do a little bit each day. And it's just a nice way to kind of calm yourself and be mindful of using your physical body in a different way than just in the gym. But I absolutely love these. Pleaser shoes are really tight around your ankle. You don't wobble in these. One thing to be conscious of, ladies, when it comes to picking out your heels is a big swoop up here in the front. Because anytime that foot comes forward, you might have a little unstableness if you wobble on this part of your shoe. I personally like this because I can go up to my toes, do a really, really good spin if I needed to. And it's pretty heavy, so it keeps you nice and grounded. But um, these are the platforms. I recommend if you're a petite, short person, 
um, with kind of shorter legs, not to get a chunky, chunky bottom platform. It's just gonna weigh you down, make you look like a Clydesdale and not be as good for your leg. Um, me, I'm more leg dominant, so I have longer legs, so this just made them even longer and amazing. And I wish I was doing this type of shoe for Worlds, but I decided to go more fashion forward this year for 2021. And we'll see if that shoe works out for me or not. I've been practicing in it and I do like how it moves. Um, it's just so elegant and classy, but this is another option. All right, so I might be able to guess the color of my bikini from this. It is a very fashion forward shoe. It has this small stiletto, like it's almost invisible from the side and it blends in with my leg. So again, it's gonna elongate that leg, but you have all the glitz and glamor here too. So I'm super excited about this. This shoe is from Public Desire, ladies. I like this website for fashion forward shoes. Um, if you're looking for the, the platform, you could get the, the Pleaser, the Pleaser shoe show, pleasershoes.com or something like that. So just look around, but most of all, make sure your shoe is comfortable. If you find that you're slipping and sliding and it hurts your feet, buy a different pair of shoes, okay? You can wear those for an evening gown or anything like that. But I hope that gave you a good idea of what to wear, what type of shoe to wear for WBFF. Again, four inches, not clear on the bottom, fashion forward, matches you and your personality and is comfortable, okay? If y'all have any questions, I would love to hear those. Um, other than that, have a fantastic day and then just stay tuned for uh, me leading up to prep for the World Championships. It's 12 weeks out today, so I'm super, super excited to see um, just the body changing each time. It's completely different and wonderful and amazing and I can't wait, but yes, have a great day. Love y'all.